I don't even know what to say after that. Um, it's very interesting. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Anyways, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so this episode of Black Mirror. Um, this guy with his 15 million merits. <sighs> this show is going to really like, it, it makes you think a lot. That's what I like about it. It makes you really think about things. And a lot of things to do based on choices. And I know what they were trying to do at the end, but we'll get to that. So he meets this girl. The girl came in. She's new. Heard her singing in the bathroom. Liked her singing. Decided. Um, I mean, he liked her too. You know, so I was just, as I was reacting to it, I was just giving my thoughts on the progression so far. Okay. During the cuts in between showing the the um the five parts of the show. So anytime a part it ended, I commented. Okay? Not knowing what was going to happen at the end. As I said, we'll get to that. Um, you like the girl. Um so there's a lot of things that happen in between them before she even gets on the stage. You know, he decided to pay for her golden ticket, right? Her golden ticket for her to get on Hot Shot, right? Ended up being she can really sing, but but they're like, we're saturated with singers. Oh my God, there's so many singers. You know, why don't you show show us your tits? And, you know, you would do well on basically a pornographic stream, right? Should be You would be a porn star. That's basically what they are trying to tell us. This is like, everybody would watch, you know? And they're like, I would watch. The black guy said, I would watch. And then even the girl, even the, the woman on the panel said, I would watch. Shoot. So it ended up that she ended up on the, on, on the, the porn stream, right? And then you had um, dude was really mad. I thought he was going to, like, just jump down there and kill all three judges. But he decided he went a totally different way than I expected him to. Um... Cause that would have been nice if he just went on a on a bloody kill kill streak and like, you know what I'm saying. But I don't know. Maybe he wouldn't have gotten that far because there's tons of security there, um, and he's just one guy. But at the same time, you know, you know, so he went off. He talked about some serious shit that, if you're paying attention to what he's saying, he's talking about the world that we're living in right now. It's exactly what he's trying to say. Everything is just about these damn screens. We make everything seem, you know what I'm saying, like you're getting ahead, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we, we're we so um, concentrated on so, so many things that are meaningless. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, you know, everything is about stuff. What can I get to you? You know what I'm saying? And everything real, we just take it and we discard it. You know what I'm saying? And it's so true about today. It's not even funny where you have to be telling people and helping them to understand that there is a real aspect of life, something that you can grasp, that you that you can hold, that you can hold and, 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 and understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a hug means so much more then you buy me stuff and people just don't get that in this day and age these um kids nowadays they're so desensitized to 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 um to death to 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 um to like sex has become the new you know what i'm saying it's like i remember when it was like i believe that sex is something that should be discussed but there's a time and a place for it. You get what you get what I'm trying to say? And it's not because I was born way back or whatever the situation is. It's not because of that. I just believe heart of heart. Like it's just not appropriate to discuss sex, sex um, stuff or sexual conversations, you know, in certain situations. It's just not appropriate, you know, and, you know, we take a lot of 
we do a lot of things in life, right? And we think that it's it's okay because you know what? I get to do whatever I want to do. And I'm not saying that you guys should not do whatever you want to. I don't know why the heck my green screen is messing up right now, taking out half of my face, but it's whatever. Um, it's crazy, right? Let me see if I can fix that really quick, right? So it's just that some some people, you know, you really got to pay attention to what to what they're saying sometimes to really get them to understand to to understand where they're coming from. And it's tough. It's really tough. You know, it's tough sometimes when 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 you're looking at the, the, the situation and the people that you talk to. Right. And the people that you talk to, they like they will talk to you about a certain thing. And you're like, what are you talking about? That makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's. I mean, it's tough to to see what he was going through because he was talking about some real shit and it, and, and he ended up in the same situation. You get what I'm saying? So no matter what, at the at the end of the day, what they're trying to say with the ending of it, with him ending up doing the same thing, they thought it was a performance. And that's what we all think these days. We think that when we see beheadings and stuff like that from our, our kid, we think that shit is a performance, you know, and we don't take shit like that serious, you know, and, it, and it's crazy. And that's what I'm saying. So desensitized to these things. When you see those things, oh, it's tragic for a day. And then next day we go on with our lives like nothing happened. And it's not right. It's not okay. You know? And I'm not saying that you shouldn't move on with your life, but you got to keep these things in mind. You know what I'm saying? Don't just go go o over to, you know, the Middle East or whatever, thinking that everything is okay. No. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to... Be sensitive to these things. You have to be. I don't care who you are. When things like that is happening, you can't be so desensitized to them. Be like, oh, I got to live my life. And that's the thing about it. And that's, I think that's what, and maybe I'm missing the point. But that's what I'm getting from this second episode of Black Mirror. Is that the guys, the, the whole premise of the whole thing is that no matter, most of the time, you may have a certain intention of what you really want. And then because you're faced with an impossible choice, right, which is, is basically like a anything is better than the bike. Anything is better than the bike. No matter what, anything is better than the bike. So, yes, they heard me. I was speaking my truth, right? I was speaking from my heart, from the bottom of his heart. Dude was sweating so hard saying that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was coming from a place of passion, and they turned it into basically they turned it into a TV show, and that's what I, and it's the society we live in today, especially in in the United States. Everything is a TV show. Everything they t take and they turn into a TV show. Everything, no matter what it is, you know what I'm saying. No matter how serious the situation was, like the whole situation with, um, I could bring up an example of a movie I just recently watched, um, Snowden. The story about the the story about Snowden is very true. It is very true. It was a big story. I remember when it was going on, right? So I just watched the movie to see how, what their take is on it. You get what I'm saying? But there was no need to make a movie about it. It was a very serious situation with him exposing the mass surveillance that's going on in the in this country on the citizens, you know, and they don't care as long as, long as they're trying. To, and, 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 and the thing about it is that, you know, they're 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 basically saying to us the ends justify the means. No, it doesn't. If you're saying that the law says you're not supposed to do something, why are you breaking the law behind our back, hiding it in the same place, right? So it's it's this show. There's one more episode left in the first season. I'm definitely gonna um react to that very soon. But I I, I like the show. I do. And I like how it's bringing, it's making you think about how would you react to that situation, you know? And the thing about it is that I like the fact that everything that you're doing right now for the first and the second episode, 
everything that was happening, the, the controversial thing that happens in the episode always as an audience. And that's, that's the thing. That's the world we live in today. Everything that you do, it seems like you have an audience. There's always somebody trying to tell you, oh, that's not how it goes or that's not what you should do or or do it so we can so so we can clap and and you can dance and sing for us. You know, so a lot of people I, I know that everybody's not going to agree with my point of view on this episode, um, but it's just how it came off. Maybe I'm missing some of the points that were there. Maybe I'll watch the episode again and see if I pick up anything any more parallels that that they were trying to draw between that and real life because trust me it, this shit is about real life that's what they're drawing it from of course nothing absurd as what's going on in the show would possibly happen because i don't think any woman is going to be on is going to be on a talent show and be like and and, and the judge is down there telling them to show me your tits that shit will never happen you know what I'm saying? Like in this day and age. But it's just to show you the type of world that we're living in. Where is where where as in if you if you if you have the right audience for a certain thing, these things are possible. Don't get me wrong. This stuff happens on the dark web all the damn time. You just don't see it. And if you guys don't know about the dark web, it's not something I, I, I I'm advising you to check out, but it does exist. OK, so. I'm just letting you guys know, man, it's crazy. It's crazy out here in these streets, man. It's it's crazy. And I'm glad that a show like this exists, that it's kind of bringing certain things to light, help you to think a lot better, help you to say, if I was in that situation, what would I do? If I was faced with an impossible choice like that, dude, every time I'm choosing the bike, that's me. I don't know what you would choose, but I would choose in both situations. I'm choosing the bike. I'd rather live a mundane life and exercise than to put myself in a situation like her choosing pornography. And I think it has a lot. And I mean, and then again, it's like she chose, she, 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 she drank the thing. He didn't. And they still kind of ended up in the same place, which is, working for someone they didn't want to work for in the first place you get what i'm saying so at the end of the day the the the, the overall the hierarchy got the best of both characters you know what i mean so it's crazy man but it's great i like i like it so let me guys let let me know what you guys think in the comment section um this is the review um so let me get, let let me know what you think in the comment section. I know some of you guys might disagree with me, but that's OK. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Um, just let me know what you think. Leave a like if you like it. If you don't like what I said, then you can dislike it. It's no problem. I mean, this is what this show is all about. It's all about creating a conversation and having debates and having disagreements and agreements. So I love it for that. So it's welcomed here on every single one of these episodes because I'm going to have my thoughts. You're going to have your thoughts. But as you guys watch this, hope you guys enjoy it, um, watching it with me or watching it wherever it's posted because I can't really post these on YouTube. So if you're watching this on the Google Drive, all kudos to you, man. Hope you stayed for the whole hour plus. Um, thank you guys for watching again. And this has been Thereby Reacts. And peace.